Hello, we're gonna be playing with this deck again, the Tango One Hermit deck, the, the extra flea, rare, farmer type, just one hermit Tango. That's the name of the deck. <laughs> Not really, I don't have a name for it, it's just... I... <laughs> I chugging my words aside, if you haven't seen the previous video where I played this deck, you can go check it out. I talked more about the deck itself slightly, although some of it is similar to my other Just One Hermit video thing, whatever. So I'm not really going to go over the deck. I already played it before. Go check out the other videos. I'm just going to play more games with it now. We're going against Tyler the Tool Man. We'll see if Tyler has what it takes to go up against our Tango, our single Tango. Tyler probably does have what it takes. I, oh, we got the diamond armor immediately. I didn't actually look at my hand. That's really good. And the item cards we need. Okay, this is actually really good so far. And we will end our turn and see what Tyler does. And we got a chest. That is also very helpful because once we actually get like our golden apple or something else like that and use that, then the chest will just be extra helpful. And oh my god, you're just attacking me with so much damage out the gate. It's like, you know, I'm running a, just a one hermit deck trying to kill me fast i well no it doesn't matter if you knew i was running a one hermit deck or not only uh because it's just a good strat to try and just get rid of all the hermits as soon as possible well it's my turn now i will do that and then i will burn you i'll burn your green and time for you to take damage well i survived though um i might survive a little bit it very much depends especially assuming they how many golden axes do they have? Oh my god, the golden axes are so much better than I thought they were. Maybe I should add some No, wait, but they're, they're, they take up a rare slot, don't they? I need that for my healing and my other stuff. Oh no, <laughs> this is bad. All right, well, I need a fish for healing. And so even though I really don't want to get rid of my chest, I'm going to flint and steal. Okay, I got healing. Hopefully I'll survive long enough for that. And torn. Ooh, we got a clock. Okay, that'll be very helpful. No! They had a TNT. It was game over. Game over from the start, I tell ya. I don't tell ya. Lady Valishade is our opponent now. And we'll see how they like our tango. I kind of already said that the first game. I am very original. But similar to the first game, we have a lava bucket, enough item cards. So we're doing pretty good. But even better, we actually have are starting with health pots. That is really good. Oh, so they're running some minor stuff. Well, their goddamn ability is not helpful at all against me because I run just the one hermit. Oh, they use a sword against me. Fair enough. Get some damage in because you weren't able to get any minor item cards, sadly. But extra more sadly for you, I now have extra flea unlocked, which will be extra sad. And I will burn you. I am burning you alive now for fun. <laughs> <laughs> for the fun of life. Ooh, I might actually try the spy, 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 split glass. <laughs> the spy glass. Oh, they got the heels up their sleeve as well. Well, I can also play that game of healing and stuff. I will also... Wait, no. I'm going to attack. It's going to go to the other one. Yeah. I was thinking of using the lead, but then when I attack, it's going to go to the hermit and then they'll have an item card, which I don't want to do. But I want to actually use the spyglass. I'm curious to see how this works. All right, so that is actually very helpful to know that they can add on 20 damage to anything. So I got to keep that in mind. They at least have an iron sword. And the other stuff doesn't impact me too much. Especially because I'll see it when they use it and it won't really matter. Oh yeah, I attack and torn. Ooh, a golden apple even better. Oh yeah, now it doesn't really matter which one I move it to or moving the item stuff. Well, okay, it can help a little bit, actually. Oh, wait, no, because the active hermit. Yeah, no, the lead is actually not helpful here at all. Well, time to heal up my tango. And time to say goodbye to your hip. No. Well, next turn. Oh, they healed up a little. Or they're gonna heal up. Cool, cool. You know, when the turn timer was introduced in that patch that I got introduced in, I initially was 
a bit worried because I was like, oh no, I won't have, because I take up, because I, because I record these, or at least most of the games I play, I do play a few games off camera, but most of the time I am actually playing on camera and I talk a lot because it's a video, of course, and, you, and, you, <laughs> and so I talk and that will use up my time. And I was worried at first I wouldn't have enough time, but after playing with the timer now, I have plenty of time to be honest, to still mumble about, talk to you guys, and I have plenty of time. Extra flea. The hypno is almost gone. Ooh, I could move one of their item cards to TSC. That could be good, actually. Could be worth. Oh, it's... <laughs> I keep forgetting to end my turn. Oh, so yeah, they're not doing too good on card draw if they have to use up their flint and steel because they need item cards and other... And they got the item card. Oh boy, well, lucky for me, I have the Curse of Vanishing, which is what I'm going to use. Curse of Vanishing, I say no to your to your ultra rare armor. Yeah, honestly, because it... because. On average, people will be running Curse of Vanishings. I mean, not everyone does, but a lot of people do. It, it's like, it's just a staple of your deck. Because of that, honestly, the ultra rare armor isn't as worth. Because that takes up an ultra rare slot, which you only have three of. You only have three ultra rare slots. So they're, they're very precious slots. And for one of those slots to be taken up by the armor, and then for someone to just yeet it away with the, with the Curse of Vanishing, just makes it oh you you didn't see anything there um just makes it so like useless or not as good Ooh, clock that is that's gonna be helpful and fishing rod. i got a lot of good stuff right now i even got their hermit which i won't play because that goes against the the spirit of my deck i will now i yeah i can survive a little longer so i'm gonna lead move their item oh that's not how that works I'll move that to there then. That works fine. They can't. Well, no, I'm gonna. Oh no, I should have moved it to the hypno because they because the hypno would have gained no benefit from it. Whoops. I'll extra flee. I basically just made it so that the other hermit they switch into they can attack with. So that's a my bad situation. <laughs> bum ba dum bum. I I will. I think I'm gonna actually use the clock now. I'll use the clock extra flee good good they have well they have a choice between hypno and tfc but it'd make more sense for them to switch over to the other tfc because their hypno will just die outright or they can just do it if they want to sacrifice the hypno i guess they're sacrificing the hypno sure and then we will heal my tingo and then extra flee and now it's their turn mm, the decision to make a decision very hard um very hard indeed well, uh, and Torn, yeah, already attacked. Oh, they do have more hermits. Cool, cool. The coolest beans in town, supposedly. Uh, we will fishing rod it up. Ooh, diamond armor. I will yoink that. Thank you. Gracias. And then I will extra flee, as always. I mean, that's the only move I do. That That's the whole point. It's just, I, like, okay, so one very nice thing about playing with a one hermit deck is there's less you need to think about because you don't have as many options you just have the one hermit and so you're always just gonna for the most part do the same move all the time which is great i love less options because it makes decision making easier because i am definitely someone that can get um the, what, what's it called it's not it's not called decision paralysis or option i i I forget what it's called, but it's called something paralysis where you get met with so many options and you kind of just get like, it, it becomes very hard to like actually choose something when there's so many options versus it's a lot easier when there's less options. Although I could, it could still be hard for me even if there aren't that many options. Okay, dokily, we will. Um, I, I'm gonna compost her and I will get rid of these item cards that was not very helpful but i will extra flee and i really hope for a health potion i'm gonna need one awesome awesome i they still have a chance because okay if you think about it like this i'm always playing with one heart essentially because i only have the one hermit i only play with one heart so my heart, hearts up here don't really matter Ooh, I did get an insta health though i really needed that either that or well no i did really just need that so we will heal up do the usual 
and we'll see what happens because two of their TFCs are gonna be insta kills and they just have the hypno left. Yeah, that, that health pot came in clutch because I would have died without it. So we'll see what happens. If, wait, they haven't used their sword yet. Wait, hold on. I think they still, oh wait, no, because they have the hypno and I have armor, so I'm still alive. Well, then I don't know if it would have been actually game over then. I don't know. Thinking requires too much thinking powers. I will. Yeah, I'm going to compost her again. Throw away the items because who needs them? Ooh, bow could be useful, but I think it'd be better off using the chest probably. And then we'll extra flee. Okay, now all of their hermits are one hit away from dying from me. Oh yeah, well actually except for the hypno because of the armor. But almost all of them. But I think I'm dead. Yeah, I was dead anyways because of their TFC there. Hmm, I'm trying to think what I could have done differently. I'm not sure. Whatever, one more game. What's up, Ralphie? We're going up against each other. Let's have a good game. Good game. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh. I thought it was two insta health twos. Ah, uh, a prankster deck. Well, maybe it's not prankster deck. Well, ah, I hate my voice cracks. We'll see. <laughs> Can go juice them up. We'll burn because we keep getting the burn. I love the burn. Gotta feel the burn. Oh no, they got two mumbo. Oh my god, they they got three mumbos. Tres mumbos. That's so many. <laughs> I got very lucky with that there, but it was our it they oh oh man they oh oh no this is not good. I can use the plus thirty that'll be fine. Get me back almost to max, and then at the oh wait oh I'm not an extra flea yet. Ooh ooh I thought I was cause I was like at least I could um disable the the ability of quite simple um with, by just having them be forced to switch. But nope, because I didn't realize I didn't have extra flea available. I forgot. They're drawing all the hermits. How dare you? The one counter to my tango extra flea strat is having multiple hermits. Honestly, it's just a good counter against having, uh, going up against this like one hermit strat is just literally just getting a lot of hermits on the board. Well, this is not working out. Not at all. I think using the lead will actually be better here right now. I'm gonna move it over to start a war. Yes, it puts the green a lot closer to being able to do 100 damage, but the mumbo right now has potential to do a lot higher than 100 damage, and plus start a war still requires another item card. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can live a little longer. I forgot to attack, I think. Didn't I? I forgot to attack. Well, that went by real short. Just one more. Oh, we're going up against Ralphie again. Well, okay, we'll, we'll try and see if we can redeem ourselves up against Ralphie. And we're going first. We have good item draw except for the other stuff. Where? Oh, there we go. I was misclicking. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if we can redeem ourselves against Ralphie. Oh, that's not good. Two flint seals because one flint seal will just get rid of the other. Not fun. Oh, wow. Netherite armor and... Oh, wow. Oh my god, this is gonna be another knockout by Ralphie. Ralphie, how could you do this to me? Nope, this is not working. I, this is just not gonna work. Not at all. Ralphie too OP. Ralphie too strong. Now this is gonna be another knockout. Wow. I don't know if it's better to risk it and and try and search my deck more with the composter. Or if I should heal, but it's only plus 30 health, so I don't know if that's actually worth. I'm gonna composter and just hope for the best. Uh it helps a little. Oh yeah, because, okay, if you think about the instant health would have given me another 30 damage, this is essentially doing the same thing. And so I got the best of both worlds. Plus I got a clock to help buy me some time, which is good. Wait, oh yeah, it's my turn, cool. So we're gonna use the clock, do that, yes. Uh, attack and turn that down and turn. Oh, get another armor, perfect. And then we're gonna heal a little bit by, oh, we have a chance here, we have a chance here. And turn. Are you ready, folks, for the battle of a lifetime? It's Tango 1v1 against Mumba. Mumba goes strong but loses with the with the coin flip. He has he got only two tails. And he oh, that's not what the crowd wanted to see. The crowd wanted to see two heads and another AFK prankster so that his attack could do double. But sadly, we did not see that the crowd did not get what they want. But the other section of the crowd wants to see Tango win with extra flea and want to attack strong. I don't know what this hand gesture is. <laughs>
Oh god, I would be a, in a, a terrible shoutcaster slash announcer or whatever they're called. I would be the worst. I enter. I do wait. No, I don't win. I, I have two more turns until I win, but I'm gonna lose. <laughs> so that doesn't matter. Well, anyways, let's see what the composter gets us and we'll see. Uh if it was armor, that would have been helpful. But no, we lost. Oh well. Wait, I won? Wait, my brain is derping right now. Oh yeah, I deal 100 damage. The netherite armor protects against 40 and they had 60 health. I won! I didn't even know. It was a twist for me. I... <laughs> Oh, hey, okay, that was actually really fun. I'm that ended on a good note. We got our redemption against Ralphie. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed it. That was a fun deck. You guys should play this deck as well. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out some of my other TCG videos, assuming you like this one since you made it to the end. You'll probably like the other ones. Also, I, I do other stuff too. I I mean it is mainly just TCG stuff. You can check out the video I did about decorative the new decorative pots in Minecraft. I also plan on doing some more other Minecraft related content that's not the tcg stuff um but it's still a lot of tcg stuff because that's fun and i mean like that's what some of you guys are here for oh yeah subscribe i would very much appreciate it obviously you don't have to i'm not just gonna strong arm you i'm not gonna be like oh subscribe do it or else um but yeah see you later bye